We are suckers here on WCPT 820 AMs, the sports cubicle with Devin Tingle, Paul Shavari, Dan Marver, and myself, Mike Mercado, for emotional moments in sports. We are suckers for a great baseball movie, a great football movie, and we are also there to see the downfall of a great empire rise back up. And at Wrigley Field, over the weekend, over the week that was, we saw the final crumbling. What well, seems to be the final crumbling as of this recording, as Wilson Contreras and Ian Happ shared a moment after beating the Pittsburgh Pirates, his Cubs team on a winning streak. It's all but inevitable that Wilson Contreras, Ian Happ have played their last games as Chicago Cubs at Wrigley Field. And I bring up all this dramaticness because it kind of felt like that for Cub fans. It wasn't long ago where 14 and 15 were coming along and you were on this, this joy ride. And now you're at this point where you're seeing Wilson Contreras and Ian Happ, who have gone through a lot, both different stories, both different. One is still a Jed Hoyer guy, excuse me, is a Jim Hendry guy. Wilson yeah. Contreras has been here through three regimes now, mm -hmm. has played every position. Ian Happ has gone up and down from the minor league system to the major league team and has done it with grace. And these two guys are out there crying. Mm -hmm. And we saw this with Chris Bryant. And we saw the resentment come from Rizzo. It has been a hard time for Cup fans. That 2016 World Series will never be taken away. It's always to be a glorious moment. It's a glorious moment for sports and world sports history. Not just yeah. locally, but nationally, internationally. But marvelous one, this has been a tough, yeah. tough few days, and it has been a tough watch for Cup fans. Yeah, well, the Pirates series, the two-game homestand, <laughs> uh, was, you know, Monday and Tuesday of the past week. It appears to be, you know, the finale, because now they go to San Francisco, for, you know, for the weekend, and then the deadline is next Tuesday uh, in terms of, uh, and then they're in St. Louis for the 2nd of August, which is Tuesday of this upcoming week. And I would anticipate it will be just like last year. You know, they're not going to do anything early. We'll be on that date. And I don't know if you guys remember, Wilson Contreras, he was actually a left fielder when he came mm -hmm. up. He, he he basically was not, the catching was not his, his, his number one position, but that's what he's been doing and doing very well. And, uh, you know, his, uh, I'll always remember, uh, sadly now, his, you know, his snap throws behind the, the, the runner, you know, at first base and trying to catch the uh, napping. And his, his offense has been pretty incredible. And, uh, you know, we'll miss him. I mean, obviously they're, they're planning on going with, you know, Higgins and, and, you know, and, and, uh, you know, as a backup catcher going forward. So I think they're, this is a fait accompli, basically. So uh, uh, I think he's gone. Now, I wasn't sure about Hap. I'm still not 100% sure about yeah. him. Interesting. But, you know, I, I, I think with his all-star credentials and everything, I think it's a strong possibility. But I, I'm 100% certain on Contreras, but I have a little bit of doubt about Hap. I have found it interesting, though, in the last two wins, Robertson didn't close. Yes. <laughs> so, when they went, you know, what are they protecting him for his trade value? I'm not sure because mm -hmm. I expect him to go. I'm more certain about Robertson going than Hap, actually, personally. But we'll see what happens. You know, I mean, and and, and I think that the, that if it's like last year, they'll tr they'll trade the setup man and, the, and you know and every everybody else, Givens, you know, and the whole thing. But uh, you know, since the, but the funny thing is, they were in that losing streak, and unlike last year. They're actually winning now, and that's not going to change the, <laughs> the, the the ultimate decision, obviously. But you know, when you win half dozen games in a row, it makes you think, oh, do you still have a chance to end up in the <laughs> with one of the goofy six playoff spots? But it's a pipe dream. So they're going to be sellers, and if they're going to be, you know, they did what they did last year, and if that's a model for this year, you're right. You know, they're going to get rid of their best players and their best pitchers, the relief pitchers, predominantly and get prospects and maybe a player or two that can, you know, that can step in right away. I mean, they didn't get very many major leaguers last year, uh, you know, who are major league ready at the moment, but uh, I'd like to see them do a little bit of tweaking on that and get some players, you know, starting pitchers maybe and some other people that can play right away. But they actually have a pretty good lineup right now, the way things have been going, uh, you know, and this, you know, it's uh, it's been remarkable. I mean, they got through the, the, the the, the sweep of the pirates and came out of, of you know and they're and they're actually at a roll right now and their starting pitching has been pretty good now so um yeah it makes you dream but uh cubs fans are dreamers <laughs> yes. 
Yes, no matter our age, no matter the creed, no matter the race, no matter the gender, no matter the sexuality, Cub fans are dreamers even after 2016. And that's yeah. what bums me out, Marvelous. It's what yeah. bums me out because the Cubs don't need to be like this. They yeah. don't have to be like this moment right now. And here's the thing. Little info. I know I get into a lot of arguments about this with Paul Shavari, probably dangerous here, but there is no salary cap. You can afford and pay for any player you want. And guess what? Wilson Contreras wants to be here. Ian Happ wants to be here. And they're not old dudes, especially not Ian Happ. And Wilson Contreras, yeah, you could, you could give me the business argument of a 30-year-old catcher. Guess what? He doesn't just catch. And guess what the National League now has? A designated hitter. So it is very frustrating that they are doing what the Yankees didn't do, where they traded away a lot of players in 2016, and they were bad for six months. And they came right back because yeah. you are not a mid-major, a low market team. You are the third largest market and you're the number one team in your city. So you better figure this out. And when you're showing your fans while charging them the highest rate in sports, in, in the sport, you're showing Ian Happ and Wilson Contreras crying after the year before that, showing Chris Bryant going into the clubhouse crying. The team that won those players that were part of that 2016 Season, yeah. when Tom Ricketts came into this marvelous, mm -hmm. I thought he was going to be a aggressive fan owner, mm -hmm. not a re re a realtor. Yeah, and that's what's yeah. happened. Make your money, Cubs. Make your money, Ricketts. That's not. I'm not here to be in anybody's yeah. pocket, but you can do both. Mm -hmm. I thought that, that there was a possibility even last year about the Aroldis Chapman rental player. You know, that's what the Cubs did in 2016. Mm -hmm. He went back to the Yankees. I thought a Rizzo or might come back and. Maybe a Contreras will come back. I mean, if they, they they have the money to spend, I mean, so they can have a contender, you know, use them, get the playoffs, and then sign them back if you, as a free agent, theoretically. And I, you know, they, I, I, don't, I would be happy for them to do that. Yeah. I mean, let them get some prospects and let them re sign these guys later. I mean, that would be a good business move, in my view. <laughs> that would be the dream. I mean, the dream is that, yeah, listen, they're not going anywhere. Let, you could get, if you could guarantee me that trading Wilson Contreras and Robertson is it's going to get to the Mets, is going to give you the entire haul, sure, if Wilson's coming back next year. But it's what I told, told I was saying all of last season. It just doesn't happen. The reason we bring up Aroldis Chapman is because he is the exception to the rule, where he was the one that got traded for a haul, won, and then went back to his team. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think Marvelous, we're going to be here next week. Unfortunately, I think and look, behind the fourth wall, while I'm on vacation and you're enjoying your weekend, <laughs> we're going to have to be breaking into the show with the, the with Polly Dangerous and Dev to talk <laughs> about these two guys getting traded. But maybe you're right. Maybe it goes into next week. Either way, I think Cup fans are frustrated, and I don't think optics are looking good. Not when you're building a new sports book. Not when you're building new hotels. Not when you've launched Marquee Network and your star mm -hmm. players that helped you win a World Series after a hundred plus years are crying because they're about to get traded. Yeah. But marvelous, <laughs> we'll be on the story. Absolutely. You know I mean, yeah, it's it's just like this. I mean, what 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 Chapman cost them basically was Glaber Torres. He was a he was a great player. And, uh, you know, we can talk about some of the Sox-Cubs trades, too. Jose Quintana, thank you very much. You know, <laughs> the, you know <laughs> think about the Cubs back then. If they had Torres and, uh, you know, and the players at the White Sox, Jimenez, I mean, Gilly it would Cease. be a whole different situation. Yeah, Cease. It would be a whole different situation. But... Uh, that's uh, that's that's history now. <laughs> yeah, and before we, we head out, I also want to say we're also in this position, not just because of the Ricketts, yeah. not just because of the players themselves, but this yeah. also falls on Theo Epstein and Jed Hoyer. They yeah. didn't develop enough guys. And exactly. they, they went down the road of we're going to sign Major League Pitching, not develop it. And okay, now they're yeah. paying for that. Yeah. Yep. So it'll be something we cover, though. But we want to know your thoughts. If uh, if you're listening to this, if this airs and they haven't been traded, the inevitability yeah. of Ian Happ and Wilson Contreras, amongst others, being traded, your thoughts. Are you bummed out? Are you sad? Do you know that this is just part of another rebuild? We want to know your thoughts. We're on Twitter at Sports Cubicle TV. It's the marvelous one, Dan Marver. It's Devin Single. It's Paul Shivari. I'm Mike Ricardo. <laughs>